All right, cool stat time. It's week 13, but a lot of teams are feeling pretty lucky about their playoff chances this year because 28 of the 32 teams are within two games of a playoff spot. Now, that's the most through 12 weeks since the NFL went to its current playoff format in 1990. Pretty cool, huh? Well, why don't we give you five more cool stats from week 13? Number five, Kirk Cousins in 2016. The Washington quarterback has had quite a home campaign this season, sending his approval rating through the roof. He's completing almost 75% of his passes, averaging almost 275 yards a game, and has an 11 to 2 touchdown to turnover ratio. Cousins' 113 passer rating has led the team to a 5 and 1 home record. Who says there's gridlock in the nation's capital? What's that? Number four, the Eagles grounded, losing three straight, and Chip Kelly's fast paced, high powered offense is broken like the Liberty Bell. The team has scored less than 20 points in each of those losses. The last time a team with Chip Kelly on the sideline scored less than 20 points in three straight games was 1993, when Kelly was the defensive coordinator for the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. Number three, which wide receiver will shine in the Big Apple? Brandon Marshall and Odell Beckham Jr. have almost identical stats this season. Check out the numbers for receptions, yards, receiving touchdowns, and 100-yard games. I think OBJ still has a big lead in amazing one-handed catches, though. That is an unbelievable play by Odell Beckham. Number two, Brock Osweiler being offensive. With him manning the helm, the Broncos have the fourth-ranked offense over the past two weeks, averaging 411 yards a game. In the first 10 weeks with Peyton under center, the Broncos ranked 28th with 331.7 yards a game. And the number one stat of Week 13, the immovable object versus the unstoppable force. The Seahawks' defense hasn't allowed a 100-yard rusher this season. Adrian Peterson leads the NFL in rushing right up 100 plus yards in four of his last five games. Who you got?